Hey, 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 floppy catters! We got something new in the mail today! And this one I ordered off of Amazon with the Amazon gift cards I get for free every month um, through a program called Swagbucks, which I've mentioned a lot on our YouTube channel. Um, so I'll link to it in the About section below. This is Cloud9 Silvervine. This is their large, but it's tiny. It's this little thing. So I have a video on YouTube with my cats. Look at this wonder nut. Um, checking out silver vine sticks and somebody commented on one, on that video saying that silver vine powder works so much better than actual silver vine sticks. Obviously that bag has silver vine on it because Charlie's going kind of nutty. Gee woo, gee woo. All right, so. I can't get my phone to stay. So here's what the powder looks like on the inside. I'm just going to offer it to Charlie and see what he does. Do you want to roll in that? What if I put some on the mat? Let's put some over here. Ready? Somebody's going to roll in it. Like catnip. So that person, whoever you are, and I'm sorry if you're watching this video and I'm not giving you credit. Oh, because I don't remember the screen name of that person. Told me to just sprinkle it on their toys and then offer them a toy. <laughs> that is like a catnip response. That's funny. That's good because I was wondering if my cats were immune to silver vine. What do you think, Wooey? What do you think, Wooey? So I don't know much about silver vine other than um, they've used it in Asia for years to attract cats. Hold on, let me get some more out. Go, go. How about this one, go, go. Uh, but catnip, only about 60% of cats respond to it, and it's a genetic response that, um, you know, if their parents respond to it, more than likely the kittens will. But I don't know if silver vine is the same situation or not. Charlie and Trig both respond to catnip. So obviously Charlie responds responds to silver vine. And she just didn't know yet. She could just gonna check it out and see. It might get high, might not. They actually I don't know if they get high per se, but it definitely turns them on. I had someone <clears throat> Whoa. It's leaving marks on my pants too. Uh I had someone write me one time concerned that that giving her cats catnip was like giving them marijuana. So I don't really like to say the high thing because I don't really equate the two. Um, but they definitely have a reaction. Uh, it makes them kind of excited. I'm laughing because Charlie's in the other room rubbing his face on something. I can hear it. What do you think? You gonna get some of that one? Get it, go. You gonna smell this thing? I'm just gonna smell this thing. You want how about this one? Woo, what are you doing in there? I can hear you. Whoa. Get it, gal. <laughs> He's having some sort of reaction, but not the rolling one that Charlie did. All right, guys, comment below. Have you given your cats silver vine and what variety? Have you given them this powdery version or has it been, um, you know, the sticks? And then somebody also told me one time, that if you wet the stick, it helps as well. Okay, here it says, sprinkle a, pitch, a pinch on your cat's favorite toy. A little goes a long way. It should not be added to their food or edible treats. Oh, and I asked my vet too, but when I ordered the silver vine and, and you know got it in the mail, I asked my vet if it was okay to give it to him. And they said yes. So I will include a link in the about section below to Cloud9 Silvervine 
this powder that you can get on Amazon if you guys want to give it a go. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, and we'll see you next time. You are cuteness. You are cuteness. My cuteness. You out of here, cuteness? Bye guys. Just came back to do a little more recording because this nut job came. I brought this into the kitchen and threw it at him, and then he brought it all the way in here like a crazy man, and then pretended like he wasn't doing anything funky. You know that's what he does. He's a goofy boy. He's a goofy kitty. He's a goofy kitty. <laughs> Won't we'll put it on your head one more time because it's funny. Put it on your head. <laughs> These are a little felted toy from House Panther that we got years and years ago. They're awesome. They're called Lynx. I'll try to link to those as well. I'm not sure if they're still being sold, but they probably are. Hey, that's my finger. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Why are you so darn cute? You are so cute. You are so cute.